All right, and welcome back. Today we are going to talk about our Fauvism projects. Now, Fauvism is a style that came about just after the Impressionist movement. So we're talking 1905 to 1910 era. Uh, it was a very short movement. Uh, the main people that we're looking at for this are uh, Matisse and a little bit of George Brock, who we talked about with Cubism as well. Uh, so we're gonna look real quick at some images. Uh, these are by Matisse. And with Fauvism, what they're doing is they kind of got away from the way, the style that the Impressionist uh, put their brushes down where it was uh, very uh, precise as far as where the marks were put down. With Fauvism, they dealt a little bit more with the blending of the colors and let the colors be bright. Uh, a lot of the times it was straight out of the tube. They didn't really mix a whole lot of colors. Uh, so this here is a Matisse. And then we'll look here, and we got a lot of the same thing with the as with the impressionists as far as the colors uh, go, and somewhat of the brush strokes. This is an early one, so it's still kind of in development. But then later on, you can see where they are a lot smoother, and the colors are blended out a lot more. So that's Matisse, and then here we have a uh, Jelinski, where you can see very very bright colors still. Um, the colors are blended on the canvas itself, it looks like, and you can see where you know, we still have a very heavy outline, similar to what we saw in, with Cubism, um, but it is kind of more defined as far as where the actual color is being put down. And then here we have a Pechstein. Uh, this was done in 1910. So again, very bright colors, uh, heavy outlines with things and somewhat of having the canvas show through, which we saw with Impressionism as well, um, whereas the, the brush strokes were just laid next to each other versus being blended together. But again, not a whole lot of details. You get the general idea of what's going on with the image, but you know, it's just a, a lets it to the viewer um, make up a lot of what's actually there. So what we're going to do is we're going to be working on a piece of canvas board and we're going to do our thumbnails like we always do and have this. Now with these, they can be vertical, they can be horizontal, does not matter. It is entirely up to you. Uh, with this project, a lot of times uh, they dealt with either a landscape or with a portrait of some kind and we kind of want to stick with that. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick sketch here. We'll do a landscape and let's say I'm going to do my house. Okay, something that's familiar. And yeah, so we've got a big A-frame like this. We have a house that comes up behind it for the second story with, and again, we always want to make our rectangles that we're working with bigger than, or smaller rather, than what our page is, so that way we can work with stuff and make adjustments like I'm going to have to do with this. Okay, so there's that, and then we've got you know a deck over here and a fence, and we come down with some stairs. Now, ideally, I probably should have done this straight on to have a little bit more of an angle would probably work out a little better, um, but we're working with this and I've got big tree over here. Now, again, this is just a very quick sketch <clears throat> just to try and lay it out. I don't like it having, having it be right dead center in the page. So we're gonna come bring this over, bring my rectangle. Actually, this would work better as a vertical. So we're gonna do that shift it over a little bit here okay and we'll make this a little taller so i can get some more of that tree in because then there's another tree here in the background all right so we've got this figured out roughly where it needs to be so we're going to switch over to the one that i've actually got done already so when we do this so we've got our two thumbnails so we're going to go from there then this is one that i did uh with a face so we've got a portrait here. Now, when we've got kind of our line drawing figured out, there's a couple ways to go about doing this to get it transferred. 
onto the canvas board. First thing we can do, we can trace it out, on, or draw it out rather, onto a piece of tracing paper. And then we can take some charcoal or some graphite, put it on the back side and kind of use it like tracing paper and just transfer it directly onto it. So that way you don't have to worry about erasing anything or things like that. It'll be a direct copy of what it is that you want to do. Or you can just draw it straight onto the canvas board. You are able to erase on a canvas board, but you need to draw very, very lightly because if you draw real heavy, then it's not going to erase really well. You can see there was a drawing that's on here once already that uh, didn't get finished. So I went through and erased it and you can still see some of it there. Now, once you get everything drawn out, uh, we're gonna go through and put some color down with uh, acrylic paint. So we've got this canvas board. It is a piece of heavy cardstock. You know, it's probably an eighth inch thick that is wrapped in canvas that's glued down. So it's like working on canvas, but in a lot more uh, cost effective manner. All right, so in comes our finished version here. Now you can see that I've got very bright colors here and a lot of it is just straight out of the tube where I blended the colors on the page itself. Um, and then a very bright background here, it's it's face with the neck, we've got the shoulders here, the, and the neck and shoulders are in a gray. So it works with the Faubus style. Uh, you can still see some of the brush strokes similar to what we saw in some of the impressionist things, uh, but for the most part, it is uh, still very bright and it is um, the way that, you know, the style that we're looking for. You wanna see some of the brush strokes. You don't necessarily want everything to be smoothed out. You can have areas that are blended and smoothed out, uh, but ideally uh, you're gonna leave some of that there. It helps add to kind of the ambiance of it. So there'll be another video to kind of accompany this, kind of talk about putting acrylic paint down, uh, but that will be a separate assignment. So thank you and good luck.